Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating history of hypodermic syringes and how they've revolutionized the way we administer pharmaceutical drugs. So, if you've ever wondered how this essential medical tool came to be, keep watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more interesting videos like this one. Before hypodermic syringes were conceived, physicians had no idea that drugs could be introduced through the skin. However, some early experiments began to change that. In 1809, Francois Magendi demonstrated this idea by introducing strychnine into a dog using a coated wooden barb. Later, in 1825, A.A.J., Lissier described applying drugs directly to blisters on the skin as another method for drug administration. Building on these early findings GOV, Lafargue developed a procedure for introducing morphine under the skin using a lancet, and F. Rind invented a drip needle in 1844 for the same purpose. However, it wasn't until 1860, one that Rind published his method eight years after the first hypodermic syringe was described. The first true hypodermic syringe was created by Alexander Wood in 1853. He modified a regular syringe used for treating birthmarks by adding a needle. Wood then used this innovative device to introduce morphine into patients' skin to help treat sleeping disorders. A few years later, he improved the design by adding a graduated scale on the barrel and a finer needle, catching the attention of the medical community and leading to wider use. Over the years, hypodermic syringes have undergone significant changes that have made them more efficient, useful, and safer. One such improvement was incorporating a glass piston within the cylinder, which prevented leaks and reduced infection risks. The technology for mass production of hypodermic syringes was developed in the late 19th century, and as plastics were developed, they were incorporated into the design, further reducing costs and improving safety. And that's how the hypodermic syring evolved into the life-saving tool we know and rely on today. If you found this video interesting, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.